William Shakespeare is often regarded as one of the greatest playwrights and poets in the English language. Born in Stratford-upon-Avon, England, in 1564, he wrote a prolific body of work that it includes 39 plays, 154 sonnets, and two long narrative poems. His plays span various genres, including tragedies like Hamlet and Macbeth, comedies such as A Midsummer Night's Dream and Much Ado About Nothing, and histories like Henry Fuss and Richard III. Shakespeare's exploration of human nature and his mastery of language have left a lasting impact on literature and theater. Uh, Lorraine Hansberry was an American playwright and writer best known for her groundbreaking play, A Raisin in the Sun, which was the first play written by an African-American woman to be produced on Broadway. Born in 1930 in Chicago, Hansberry's work often addressed themes of race, identity, and socioeconomic struggle. A Raisin in the Sun debuted in 1959 and depicted the struggles of a working-class African-American family facing racial discrimination and poverty. Hansberry's writing and activism were influential in the civil rights movement, and she remains a significant figure in American theater for her exploration of racial and social issues. She passed away in 1965 at the age of 34. Anton Chekhov was a Russian playwright and short story writer, renowned for his contributions to modern drama. Born in 1860, Chekhov is celebrated for his innovative approach to storytelling and his ability to capture the complexities of human nature. His works often focus on the lives of ordinary people and explore themes of social change, personal dissatisfaction, and the subtleties of human relationships. Some of his most famous plays include The Seagull, Uncle Vanya, Three Sisters, and The Cherry Orchard. Chekhov's writing is known for its use of subtext, nuanced character development, and a departure from melodramatic conventions. He is considered a master of the short story form as well, with notable works such as The Lady with the Dog and The Bet. His influence on modern theater and literature is profound, and his work continues to be widely studied and performed. Oscar Wilde was an Irish playwright, poet, and author, known for his wit, flamboyant style, and sharp social commentary. Born in 1854 in Dublin, Wilde is celebrated for his brilliant plays, such as The Importance of Being Earnest, An Ideal Husband, and Lady Windermere's Fan. His only novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, explores themes of vanity, moral corruption, and the consequences of a hedonistic lifestyle. Wilde's writing often critiques societal norms and the constraints of Victorian society with humor and irony. His famous epigrams and aphorisms reflect his keen observations on life, society, and human nature. Despite his success, Wilde's career was marred by scandal. He was imprisoned for gross indecency due to his homosexual relationships, which were illegal at the time. After his release, he lived in exile and spent the last years of his life in Paris, where he died in 1900. Wilde's legacy endures through his contributions to literature and his role as a prominent figure in the aesthetic and decadent movements of the late 19th century. Yasmina Reza is a French playwright, novelist, and actress, known for her sharp wit and insightful exploration of human relationships. Born in 1959 in Paris, Reza gained international acclaim for her plays, which often delve into themes of conflict, communication, and social dynamics. Her most famous work is Art, a play that examines the nature of friendship and the meaning of art through the story of three friends who quarrel over a controversial painting. The play has been highly successful and translated into numerous languages. Other notable works include God of Carnage, a dark comedy about two couples meeting to discuss a fight between their children, and The Unexpected Man, a play about two strangers who share a train journey and their internal monologues. Reza's work is uh, characterized by its sharp dialogue, psychological depth, and exploration of contemporary social issues. She has won several awards for her writing, including the Laurence Olivier Award and the Tony Award. August Wilson was an American playwright celebrated for his profound contributions to African-American theater. Born in 1945 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Wilson is best known for his 10-play cycle, The Pittsburgh Cycle, also known as The Century Cycle, which chronicles the black experience in America through each decade of the 20th century. Each play in the cycle is set in Pittsburgh's Hill District and explores themes such as race, identity, and social justice. Some of his most renowned plays include Fences, 
The Piano Lesson, and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Fences, for instance, won the Pulitzer Prize for Drama in 1987 and was later adapted into a successful film. Wilson's work is known for its rich dialogue, complex characters, and its focus on the African-American experience and history. His writing often reflects the struggles and aspirations of Black Americans, blending personal and historical themes. August Wilson's impact on theater is significant, and his works continue to be celebrated and studied for their contributions to both American drama and the representation of Black life. He passed away in 2005. Harold Pinter was a British playwright, screenwriter, director, and actor, known for his influential and innovative contributions to modern theater. Born in 1930 in London, Pinter's plays are often associated with what is known as Pinteresque theater, a style characterized by its use of pauses, silences, and subtext to convey tension and ambiguity. Pinter's works frequently explore themes of power, repression, and human relationships, and his dialogue is known for its rhythmic and enigmatic qualities. Some of his most famous plays include The Birthday Party, The Homecoming, The Caretaker, and The Dumbwaiter. These plays often feature ordinary characters in seemingly mundane situations that gradually reveal underlying conflicts and psychological tension. In addition to his work as a playwright, Pinter was also a notable screenwriter, with films such as The Servant and The French Lieutenant's Woman, adapting his distinctive style for the screen. Pinter was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2005 for his exceptional body of work. His influence on contemporary theater is profound, and his plays continue to be performed and studied for their innovative approach to language and dramatic structure. Pinter passed away in 2008. Jean Racine was a French dramatist and one of the most prominent playwrights of the classical French theater. Born in 1639 in La Ferté-Massé, France, Racine is renowned for his mastery of French tragedy and his skillful use of dramatic structure and poetic language. Racine's works are known for their intense emotional depth and psychological complexity. He focused primarily on classical themes, drawing inspiration from Greek and Roman sources, and his plays often revolve around themes of passion, fate, and moral conflict. Some of his most famous tragedies include Andromache, 1667, which explores themes of love and revenge in the aftermath of the Trojan War. Phaedr, 1677, a powerful exploration of forbidden love and its destructive consequences. Racine's other notable plays include Britannicus, 1669, Berenice, 1670, and Iphigenie, 1674. His writing is characterized by its formal precision, use of Alexandrine verse, and exploration of human emotion and conflict. Racine's work had a significant influence on French drama and literature, and his plays remain important in the study and performance of classical theater. He passed away in 1699.